Hi guys, here we are, week eight already. Can you believe it? So, what are we going to do this week for our beaver activity? Well, I thought we've had quite a bit of a busy week last week, so let's go a little bit more outside and maybe get back to nature this week. So we're going to do some picture making, but with things that we find in our gardens. So, just with a few materials that I found in the garden, I'll show you how we can make a picture. Okay, so this afternoon I've been out in the garden and I've just collected some leaves, some sticks, um, I've got odd pebbles in there, just bits and bobs of things that I've found around the place. It's quite nice to see all the different leaves. I've got some nice crinkly beech leaves there, some nice brown ones, and I've got some fresh ones as well. I didn't pick them off the trees, it's just ones that were lying on the floor. So I've got a nice mixture. I also found some a few twigs there. And also, in our beaver kit, you've got some pine cones too. So all I'm going to do is put a couple of pieces of card down on my table. And then I'm going to make a picture. But I'm not going to stick the picture down. These pictures you can make as many times as you want and see how many different pictures you can make out. So just to give you a little idea, here's some nice leaves that I found that were laying near our tree. So I thought this time, let's see if you can guess what it is while I'm doing it. So that's going to be the background, all the leaves going up there. And then I think I'm going to put in a few more leaves just to fill it up. Like so. And maybe even another little fancy leaf there. And I'd love to see all your pictures and extra points if you get if you even know what some of the leaves are. Now this was off the apple tree, some apple blossom growing there. So I'm going to put that in the centre there too. And these were just little sprigs of little blue flowers. I think they were forget-me-nots or something like that. So I'm going to put those on the back as well. And I'm going to fan them out a little bit. So it's starting to take a little bit of shape, my picture. Okay, I wonder if any of you have been able to guess just what it is I'm doing at the moment. And another little sprig of that can go in there. Now, for my pine cone, I'm going to put the pine cone on the bottom, like so. Okay, any ideas yet? Now, there's all these twigs here, so I'm just going to put these across the bottom of my card. So whatever it is I've made has got somewhere to stand on. I also got a little twig, just snapped it to make a couple of legs. Okay, any idea yet what it might be? So, some daisies I got out of the garden. Now, cones are quite good because you can put stuff into them. So I'm gonna put one daisy there. This little daisy's closed up a little bit because it is bedtime. And another daisy there. Okay, so we've got two eyes, a big tail, a couple of legs, and then to give you a clue, I need to put a beak on it. Okay, so what things might have a beak? Let's see, I'm going to use these pointy leaves that I've got, quite a few points on them. I'm going to just break a leaf off and I'm going to place that in between the two eyes. Okay, now you might have to use your imagination a little bit here, but that is my peacock with his big tail showing out, a nice peacock tail, looking rather proud there. And peacocks have got like funny little plumes on the top of the head. So that's what I'm using there. Now you can do whatever picture you want. It doesn't have to be a peacock. So let's see what else we can do very quickly. Let's just move Mr. Peacock over to one side. And let's see what we can make with this one. Let's get some green card this time. You can use any colour card. It doesn't matter. And this time I'm going to use, again, the pine cone that was in our kit. And I'm going to use the same leaves that I had last time and put a few more green ones just to add a bit of colour in there. Put those over there. Now I might have to break the stems off a little bit this time. Yeah, break the stem off that one. And maybe put a few more over this side leaves. And then this time I'm going to put my pine cone going that way. Oh, I've just lost one of the little cones off it. There you go. 
Is he going to sit? Yep, there's the pine cone going that way. And this time, I think I'm going to put my eye there. Now, what could that be? I think that could be a hedgehog. What do you reckon? Something like that with a hedgehog? Yeah. So, have a go and see what you can do. So, there you have it. Just a couple of ideas, but I can't wait to see what animals and things you come up with. You might not want to do an animal. You might decide to do your house or, I don't know, a car, any kind of vehicle, whatever. I'd love to see your pictures. And of course, this can also go down as your nature study for your footprint badges. So it would be really good if you could do this this time, okay? And maybe send us some photos in. All right, take care and have fun exploring. Bye.